Now this isn't typical for what most people think of as a sweet bay magnolia. Um, not typical at all. This is where a tree has just grown out on its own. Gauging from the, the, the size of that trunk, this one's probably been here maybe 30 years. It's not, it's not, you know, they get a lot older than this. But we were talking at the southern magnolia what the fruit looks like. And, and it's going to be very similar to this. These are the, uh, the uh, Sweet Bay Magnolia seed pods that are now ripening. The birds love these. Um, you do get baby Sweet Bays coming up all over. Um, it does seed itself pretty nicely. But every one of these was a beautiful flower. Small, but very, very fragrant. Probably about the size of a silver dollar, maybe a little bit larger. And these were all flowers that, that you would have seen here about the middle to the end of May through about the end of June. They bloom for about a four to six week period. It's not a knock your socks off bloom period, bloom, uh, blooming tree, but it will knock your, your, your nose out. It's so <laughs> fragrant, smells so good, but you always get just a few opening on each branch. So when you're walking by or driving by, you might not have noticed it because it's just a little white up here and they only last a couple of a day or two, but you get so many of them for such a long period of time. Um, that it is a, a great plant. Now what we like to use these in the, in the, the landscape and the design business a lot for is their open and airy nature. You can plant these beside a house. They're not going to undermine a foundation. They're not going to get huge and they're always kind of wispy and light and airy. You get a nice view to your front door or your front porch and then you get that fragrance. It smells like gardenias. It's, it's really, really fragrant. Now, one of the interesting things about this, and our, and not just our young visitors will appreciate, but probably, whoops, I'm getting hung up here. This smells really good. All the parts on the magnolia are very fragrant. And let me just cut that off. And you take that one. There, it's got a very nice lemony fragrance. You pass that around to everybody, okay? Every part of the sweet bay is fragrant. The roots are even more fragrant, but it's got a very nice citrusy smell to it. Um, and it may be, it's better on fresh branches, but if you have a sweet bay at home and you've never experienced the fragrance, just take, break a little branch off, scratch it, or if you're digging one up, scratch one of the roots, they just smell real orangey or lemony. It's a really nice, clean fragrance. Um, but the magnolia is a great plant. It will tolerate wet or dry, sun or shade. So it's very adaptable and it's a great landscape plant. Typically, you're not gonna see them with a, with a single stem. They're more likely gonna be grown as a multi-stem plant. And that's how they, they really look nice in the landscape with multiple stems. And they can be planted very close to a building and they're not gonna totally overtake the building. Uh, and it is a great landscape plant. Now there are some new varieties of these that stay more evergreen. Uh, typically the regular sweet bay is going to drop all of its leaves in the late winter. So they're going to be not a pretty fall color, they're going to turn kind of a muddy yellow, fall off. Usually it's bare by about the end of December. But there are new varieties that will hold most of, it, most of their leaves throughout the winter. Look for one called Moon Glow. Um, that's my favorite one, we have a lot of them at the nursery, but it, it's, it stays more evergreen. Um, and it gets beautiful flowers just like, like the regular sweet bay. But if you wanted something that didn't go completely bare, look for the Moon Glow Sweet Bay Magnolia. It's, it's a great plant. And it does feed a lot of our native uh, uh, butterflies too. So it's, it's a good one to plant for wildlife as well. And it is a native southeastern uh, plant. 